The modulator has been replaced by the throttle position and manifold absolute pressure sensors to determine load. The governor has been replaced by the vehicle's speed sensor and the throttle valve has been replaced by the electronic pressure control solenoid. So don't worry about anything on the left there. These modern electronic components use multiplexing to share their data on the vehicle's network. If any of them has a problem, you'll usually know via a data trouble code. Now, with new electronic controls, we got new issues to diagnose. One of them is limp in mode. Basically, the transmission will not upshift as a safety precaution. It will have the garage shifts, reverse, and one forward gear. The most common causes are electrical, such as a problem in the shift solenoid circuit, TCM circuit, or data bus. Others could be a fault in the ignition switch, a plugged shift solenoid, or the shift solenoid valve could be sticking in its bore. Even a physical fault with one of the friction units will result in limping mode. Some of these are real obvious. If they ask, can a low coolant level trigger limping mode? It should have no problem with that one. A DTC will set in limping mode and you'll take diagnosis from there. Shifts are controlled by a shift solenoid. Basically, all it does is direct fluid flow to a shift valve. So once the solenoid is activated, it's going to push fluid into the valve. And the valve is going to open up a fluid passage and then it's going to activate your friction units. Here's a good question. Can a shift solenoid cause a harsh shift? The solenoids have specifications, usually in ohms. Some are specified in amps. This one has a specification of between 20 and 40 ohms. It has two pins and we are getting 20.7. So this solenoid is good. It checks out. You can also test the resistance through the connector that goes into the transmission. Use a diagnostic connector and the appropriate wires. An electronically controlled transmission has shifting issues. One of the shift solenoids reads 0.33 amps and the specification is 1.15 amps. What's the most likely problem? An open circuit, excessive resistance in the circuit, short to ground before the solenoid, or short to ground after the solenoid. There will be plenty of electrical questions. Make sure you understand basic electrical diagnosis first. There will be wiring diagrams. Here's a simplified diagram. We have a battery, a protection device, the load, which is a shift solenoid, and the load is ground side switched by the PCM. Most shift solenoids are ground side switched. Now the test will throw in a meter reading. Say this one is at 7.7 .7 volts. At this point, what is the most likely cause? An open circuit, excessive resistance in the circuit, short to ground before the solenoid, or short to ground after the solenoid. You should know how to read clutch and band application charts. This example is from a 4L60E transmission. What would happen if the reverse input clutch no longer applied? We locate it and see that it only applies in reverse gear. Therefore, if the reverse input clutch became defective, the transmission would no longer have reverse gear. Also, be familiar with shift solenoid charts. These are basics and should be of no problem to you. Last, know that engine issues will change the way the transmission shifts. For example, a cold engine makes the transmission shift later than normal. If the engine has a stuck open thermostat, it will not reach operating temperature and the transmission may stay with delayed shifts. High lows will delay shifting, so a problem with the map or TP sensor can affect that. It could go the other way. If no load is sensed, the transmission could shift earlier than expected which would be felt as a harsh shift. Shifts can also be changed by adaptive controls. Some systems memorize the way the car is driven and adapt the shifts to that driving style. The great thing about this system is that it changes the shifts as the internal components wear. I'll end the video with an official AAC practice question found 
in the official ASC study guide. The automatic transaxle upshifts harshly during normal acceleration. The cause could be a failed oxygen sensor, idle air control valve, throttle position sensor, or intake air temperature sensor. Are you finding these test prep videos helpful? Subscribe to the channel or I won't know if they've helped.